am doing a jam video. So this is one of our favorite jams and I it started out to be one that uh, years ago just did pineapple and rhubarb. And I know um, last year Prepper Potpourri did this on her channel, but I do it with jalapenos. So we're gonna do a jalapeno rhubarb pineapple jam. And instead of using pectin, I've done this in another recipe of the berry rhubarb jam and you use jello. So I'm gonna be using a box of raspberry jello, but I'm also gonna be using four jars canning lids. These lids are amazing. When you compare them, and they're a button top lid, when you compare the sealant on here and the lip on here to other brands, it's far superior. It's thicker. I, I really, I mean, you can dig your nail down in there and kind of really feel like you've got something there. The seal when you pop that jar is amazing. So I'm, I'm super excited to be using these again in this canning session. Now, there's a link down below. And if you put all in capital letters, Linda's Pantry, no apostrophe, just L-I-N-D-A-S-P-A-N-T-R-Y, you will get 10% off. Use that as the discount code and you'll get 10% off your order. Canning and berries and fruit and vegetable season is here. It's already started, so we need to stock up on these lids when we can. And they sell them, like this is 100 lids in this box, and they're sealed in a plastic. You wash them. I've already washed my lids with hot soapy water. You don't have to soak them, but uh, old school, I'll pour, I'll pour some hot water on these just before I um, start the jar filling so um just old habits are hard to break anyway so this is going to be a jalapeno, jalapeno pineapple rhubarb jam i've got rhubarb like you wouldn't believe already and it's just the middle of may so um we still got a long time to go i've got five cups of rhubarb here i have three jalapenos this is a good solid cup of jalapeno diced uh, two of the jalapenos are with the seeds and the membrane in, so that gives it some heat. And I want heat and sweet. And then one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. So come on in, let me show you how easy it is. And of course we're gonna need sugar. But <clears throat> I did wanna say you can also buy the lids and bands if you need those as well. So um, very reasonably priced, awesome product. Let's get candy and I'll show you. All right. <laughs> and in the next video, I will do a taste test and show you what I use this jam for because, yes, you're going to want to have this on your pantry shelf. I don't use it for toast, uh, but you could. All right, come on in. Okay, I'm going to put my jalapenos down in there. And like I said, that was a good um, solid cup. Oh, wait, maybe two cups. Uh, it's... Three large jalapenos. You give or take it away. If you don't like spice, you can leave these out. This jam is really delicious without it. Um, but I've been making it, almost every jam I make has got a little heat to it. and um, It makes a great gift. It makes a great appetizer. It makes great things to have on the shop. So go ahead and put your five cups of chopped up rhubarb. And I picked that and got that prepped up last night. Now we've got 20 ounces of uh, crushed pineapple. I want everything out of that can. Love pineapple. Makes my mouth water. Now you're not going to put your jello in just yet. We're now going to add in our, oh yeah, our sugar. And my rhubarb is the green variety, so I don't, um, it's hard for me to get a really, you know, a, a real true red unless I do add something like the jello or food coloring. Um, so I'm going to add five cups of sugar and three, four, and five. I know it's a lot of sugar, but it's jam. <laughs> okay. 
Now, if I taste this and it doesn't feel like there's enough kick to the jalapeno, you can add cayenne pepper or for a little more heat, or I've got jalapeno powder. So that's probably what I'll use is the jalapeno powder if I don't have enough heat. So now let's get this on the stove. As soon as we get this melting, then we can uh, proceed to the next okay, step. Okay, so I've got my ingredients are all in here and you can see, you know, the sugar liquefies. You wanna cook this down. Once you bring it up to a simmer, let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want your fruit soft. I like mine chunky because the rhubarb will break down, but I like it chunky. I wanna, I wanna have chunks of stuff in my jam. Does that make sense? And while I am Doing that, I've got my water bath, my uh, Ball Fresh Tech water bath canner, all filled with water, no vinegar, okay? So there's a reason for that. And all my jars, look at, isn't that cute? My daughter got me that. It says, you are my jam. <laughs> um, all my jars are in here because I'm going to sterilize them inside the canner, even though you really don't have to as long as you're gonna be water bathing for more than 10 or for 10 minutes but I want them nice and sanitized, so we'll leave those in until it's ready to jar up. I use this water bath canner all the time because it's easy to get filled from the sink and drain. Now, I do not waste any of that water. I, I actually will water plants with that. I can use that for the dog's drinking water. I can, um, I can use that for a lot of things. I don't have to worry about wasting it. And uh, yeah, anyway. So I do like it for that reason because it is time to water all the plants and I've got garden plants I can water as well and fill up the dog water. So as soon as that cools down, then I use that and um, I don't waste that water, I pay for it. All right, all right, I'm gonna cook this down for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll add our jello and then we'll start jarring it up. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Now, you could, you could do this as a pectin jam. You could totally do a pectin-based jam. I am doing it this way because the color and I, I know how well it works because I've used this for my rhubarb berry jam. All right, guys. Okay, so this has been simmering that all the fruit is really soft and broken apart. You know, I mean, it's it's all about the, the same as your um, consistency of the pineapple. But you can see it. I mean, it's it's green and yellow. <laughs> but I'm going to add six ounces of jello. Now you can add raspberry, strawberry, any kind of jello, red jello you like. And I'm adding the raspberry because that's what I have on hand. We're going to get that into the mix here and it's going to make it beautiful and if you feel like you need it even more red then you can add some more food coloring but I think this is going to be perfect. Let this just simmer for one more minute and we're going to start filling jars. Okay so I am ready. I've got my hot jars and they are hot. They've been simmering on the stove um, this whole time. Ah, I'm going to move them over here out of the way so I can get a little bit closer. Hot. Okay. Yum. And I already dripped. Look how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. So you just get that, um, jello, uh, dissolved and I let it cook for another minute. Um, and then that's it. And it is a beautiful jam. You want to go for jams one quarter inch of headspace. So we're going to go ahead and I've got a little bit more. Okay. I cannot wait for you to try this. It is so delicious. Get that over there. Now, I've got my lids that I poured some hot water out of the canner right over the top of those lids. Um, I don't see a need to have vinegar, but you can do vinegar on your, the rims of your jars as well. And let me just tell you, those jars are hot, so <laughs> no need to debubble. You, if you feel you need to debubble, you go ahead. Um, I don't debubble my jams. I do make sure I visually everything looks good. And we're going to put this ring on. 
finger tight, and which is kind of hard because it's so hot. I do have that little holder. I should get that out. So finger fingertip tight is all you need. And then in the canner, she goes to wait for the rest of the jam. And you can see little deeper, darker spots. That's all the jalapeno. It's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. Grab another jar after you get that jar in there. Now, I've just got the 12 ounce jars here. Um, I'm gonna fill first because that's that's the ones that I will sell. The smaller ones are the ones that I use typically in cooking and um, yeah, quarter of an inch of headspace again and go to the next jar here. Nice. Yum. My mouth is watering. I want to taste it so bad. I usually I usually do taste it for heat, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. If it's not spicy enough, then um, we'll have to make another batch. Oh, darn. Okay, fingertip tight. In the canner she goes. Once I get the canner, in the, uh, um, a water bath canner, you want an inch to two inches of water above the jar, which is what I've got. And you don't start timing until you've brought it to a rolling boil. And then you start the timing, and uh, it's amazing how much heat those jars hold on to. So this makes a good, nice, big batch of jam, and it's a great way to use rhubarb. Um, I absolutely love this recipe. So super easy, super delicious. Everyone loves it. Okay, and here we go. All right, guys, I'll be back when I'm all done. I'll tell you how much I got. Okay, so I got seven jars, three half pint jars and four 12 ounce jars out of that recipe. And I'm gonna taste this. It's kind of cooling off here and a little bit for the fridge, but um, it smells divine. Let me just give it a quick taste. Mm. Oh, it's so good. There's a little back heat, but not too much. So if I wanted more heat, I would add, I would have to add, every pepper is gonna have a little bit more or less heat. Um, I would have, I should have added some jalapeno powder um, to the mix, but I just now, this one has the jalapeno flavor, a little bit of back heat and that sweet, pineapple and you can't really tell it's rhubarb but yet because I know the flavor profile yes it's rhubarb all right this is going to go in the refrigerator and we'll have it tonight over some cheese and crackers and um, yeah and celebrate the jam that's going to be on the shelf <laughs> okay guys so I am done these went for a full 10 minutes and check this is for my altitude I'm at below a thousand feet so 10 minutes is perfectly fine. If you are a higher altitude, you can check and see what, what your canning time should be. Um, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's so delicious. Absolutely beautiful. Just like little gems, like jewels in a jar, right? And um, I'm happy to have this on the shelf. And I will, I will bring you back and let you know if all these lids sealed as I'm sure they will so um, I will leave a link to the fresh check water bath canner down in the uh, description box it's also in on my um, Amazon store that link is down below as well right alongside the four jars link that you can go um, do some shopping for some canning lids and get stocked up because you never know when we might have shortages again here where I'm at you still cannot get lids. You can get one particular brand that I haven't had that great of luck with, and um, and then a new brand that I'm not, I don't trust, only because I've not used them enough, and they they feel 
they don't feel like they're quality like these lids do. Just by taking a hold of the lid, you can tell the difference. So um, anyway, I'm excited to have brought this jam uh, together for you. And it's an easy way and inexpensive. The other thing that's hard to get a hold of is pectin. So if you can't get pectin, but you can get jello, you can still make jam. All right, or you can cook it down until it's jam consistency. So let me know in the comment section, would you like to see uh, me can rhubarb? Now I like to can rhubarb with other fruits for putting on oatmeal, ice cream topping, put it on a little shortcake or a biscuit. Um, not just jam, but the actual fruit and have that on the shelf as well. And you can turn it into a pie in the middle of winter. You can make a rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb pie because you've got that on the shelf. Or would you like to make, or would you like to see me make pie filling? I actually, um, it's, I'm, I'm due to make a rhubarb pie. So uh, yeah, yum. Anyway, all right guys. Um, and I have a rhubarb bar. It's like an oatmeal bar that I make. So if you want to see that one, just leave me a comment down below. If you've got your favorite rhubarb recipe, we'd all love to see that in the comments as well. So guys, I can't wait to see you next time. I'm, I'm so excited to have this on my shelf and I am going to share what I do with this in my next video. All right. Bye.